Yo, what's up guys, it is Josh, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make the best subtitles for your YouTube videos and how to add text over your voice. And the perfect thing about this is it is 100% free for everything that I feature in this video. So go check out the description for any download links that I mentioned, and I hope you guys do enjoy the video. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is open up DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna be using DaVinci Resolve 17 because I prefer it because it has less bugs. So I'm gonna go new project, and I'm going to name this subtitle example, and I'm just gonna press create. You can name it whatever you you want obviously it'll depend on whatever project you're doing as soon as you get into DaVinci Resolve you're gonna go in the edit tab go up here to the top left to file go down to project settings and then change your frame rate to 60 which is being used as kind of the industry standard nowadays make sure to save your changes from there what we're going to do is we're going to upload any sort of footage that we're gonna be adding subtitles to so I'm going to take a sample intro from a video here so now that I actually have my clip in here I'm gonna cut it down to a small portion that we can use for this video and I'm gonna be deleting the rest just so we can kind of focus on this part. So something useful that I do to keep track of where I want my subtitles is I place markers at the end of sentences or mini sentences. And what I mean by this is in this intro, I say, all right, what's up guys? Or what's up guys? It's Josh back with another video. What I'll do is I'll probably split up what's up guys. It's Josh. And then I'll put a marker after that. And then what I'll do is I'll say back with another video in a second portion. So for example, all right, what's up guys? At the very end of this segment, I'm going to place a marker to kind of signify the starting of a new subtitle. And then right after here, it says in today's video, I'm going to be doing blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to be placing a second marker. So pretty much what this looks like is we'll have a text segment from the beginning right here up until this blue marker saying, what's up guys, it's Josh. This one will say back with another video. And then this one will say in this video, I'll be doing whatever. And this is just a guideline. You don't have to follow this step by step exactly. I'm just kind of showing you what I feel works best for me. So for the first segment, what we're going to be doing, what you can easily do is you can just make a text layer right here and just split it on your marker points. And just like that, we have our three little segments that we're ready to edit. I recommend sticking with simple fonts and simple coloring as it kind of just allows for the viewers to follow along with something easy. So for example, a font I use in all of my videos is either Coolvetica or Burbank. For this, I'm going to be covering Burbank because it's a very recognizable font considering it is the Fortnite font. So the next thing we're going to do after that is obviously edit the text to what we want it to say and then what we can do from there is if you feel like your text font is a bit too condensed you can increase the tracking to space out the letters and then obviously there is control on how big you can make the text and then we can also adjust its positioning so i'm going to bring it down a bit let's say something around here you could do the top as well but i feel like the bottom looks a lot better and it's the most common for most videos i feel like and you're going to want to make sure that you remember this y value because you're going to have to edit it on all of the layers so we have 81 we can see that this is actually back down in the same spot and then we're gonna also edit these text layers this is looking pretty good so far and we can just see that it kind of cycles through the basic subtitles and this could be fine if you're looking to just add basic subtitles at a surface level or even if you're doing a school project and you want to just add basic subtitles so it's easier to follow along with I would just recommend sticking with this if you're just looking how to add subtitles at a surface level let's say you're just adding a super basic subtitle layer to a very beginner YouTube video or even a school project something along the lines of that you can just literally stick with this and it will be fine but if you want a more professional appearance to your videos i'm actually going to be going through some of the effects as well as animations that you can add to this text to just make it pop out compared to your competitors videos let's say so the first thing i'm going to be going over is drop shadow and stroke what i'll normally do is i'll add a slight drop shadow x and i'll just barely bring the drop shadow down to let's say negative eight and then I'll have um, this add an offset of X10. And then something you could also use is stroke. I would highly recommend only using about maybe two or three but if you're using a drop shadow it can look kind of awkward maybe just use something like one just so it gives a slight border around the edges and uh, yeah i use mostly just stroke and drop shadow in terms of the appearance i keep the text as white just because it's easy to follow along with and that's actually going to conclude my overview on subtitles and the effects that you can add on a surface level so now we're going to be going over the animations that you can apply to these subtitle layers just to kind of give it a more professional appearance for its in and out so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to comp 
compound clip each of these text layers by right clicking on it going to new compound clip and pressing create you don't have to worry about the name or anything like that and what this will allow us to do is actually edit the animation the transform values all of that stuff which is going to be extremely useful in order to make these look professional so we're going to select this first layer right here that says what's up guys it's josh and we're going to go into the fusion tab make sure to click on anywhere in the gray space you're going to press control and space at the exact same time on your keyboard and you're just going to type in transform and then press add you're going to see a little node like this and what you're going to do is you can just press shift on your keyboard and drag it so you can see this blue and yellow overlay on the line itself and just drop it and now this transform is actually part of the line from here what we can do is we can adjust the movement of the text itself as well as the size and actually keyframe the values to provide movement along the timeline so at the very beginning what we're going to do i'm going to do a zoom in transition or not a zoom in kind of like a small to large transition have it pop up on the screen and then go away and then on the second layer i'm going to be showing you how you can actually do a slide up slide down kind of animation for the text layer itself a very crucial step of this is actually adjusting the pivot value down to where the middle ish of the text is that way when we're zooming it in and out it zooms on this point versus if we had it the default point it would kind of bring it towards the middle which just makes it look awkward because then it would be cutting off your face for example so make sure that we bring that down to kind of the middle area of the text so now that we have the adjusted pivot point we're actually just going to drag the size down to zero and then we're going to go 30 frames later we can see the frame counter right here and we're going to change the size value back to one which is the default size and at the very end what we're going to do is we can see that the last frame is at 98 so what we'll do is we'll actually go 20 frames back to 78 we'll keyframe this value again at one and then again at the very end we're going to keyframe it at zero so so far it looks like a what is up guys and then it goes away kind of slower and it's looking pretty good so far at least we have a bit of movement but it'll look a lot better once we adjust this spline graph right here if you don't have the spline tool opened up you can just click up here in the top right you can kind of make it a bit bigger and then press this arrow thing right here so we can actually see these different points so this is going to be the zero this is going to be the one the one and the zero kind of just like a normal graph that you would see in like a mathematics class from there what we're going to do is we're going to press Control a so we can see these points right here and i'm going to be showing you the best animation that you can be using for these subtitles so the first thing you're going to want to do is this little point just up from the zero you're going to bring that about down halfway ish and then this point right here we're going to bring just after this point and if you were to draw a line down the middle you would see that it kind of comes a bit after and i'll show you what this looks like All right. We can see it kind of does a smooth pop up and then we're going to kind of copy this idea at the very end we can see it kind of does a similar movement at the end but it's definitely looking a lot better than the general pop-up effect that i had before i edited this graph so with that being said that is actually going to be the pop-up animation and this is what it looks like over top of our clip so now what we're going to do is we're going to select this one and we're going to press fusion for this one follow the same exact steps add a transform press add and then we're going to drag this in by pressing shift connect this the only difference is is we're actually going to keyframe this value at the very beginning instead the center x and y and we're going to set this value to something below the screen let's say at 0.35 same exact deal we're gonna come let's say for this one it's a bit smaller in terms of duration or shorter i should say so we're gonna make it 20 frames after we're gonna keyframe this y value at 0.5 which is the standard at the very bottom of the video and then at the very end it's 58 frames so let's come 15 before and make it 43 so we're gonna keyframe on frame 43 the y value at 0.5 which is the same value you can see it slides up stays here and then right here it's at 0.5 and then at the very end we'll slide it back down to let's say 0.35 again so it's pretty consistent and we can see from there we're going to open our spline again we're going to open this here press the arrows so we can see all of these different points then we're going to press Control a so it's almost the exact same concept we're just going to drag this point over drag this point over kind of after this point if you were to draw a straight line and then same thing here drag this drag this just kind of it looks like a stretched out s if that makes sense and with these two put together it'll look a little something like this
But yeah, those are pretty much the two main types of subtitle animations that I incorporate in my videos if I ever use subtitles. I hope you guys found this tutorial easy to follow along with. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below in the comments. I'll be answering as many as I can. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, I'll have an editing playlist linked down below in the description with all my other tutorials. But that's going to be it for the video. All the links to the downloads will be in the description. And I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.